Hey guys, it's Ben. Uh, welcome back to Croc 2. In the last part, we did some stuff. I can't remember because it was a different setting. Uh, but, um... Anyway, so I have to explain this world. Anyway, this world is a is a lot different, mainly because this is it. You just got the, uh, the place where Takao was in Sonic Adventure, except it's yellow and purple. Maybe they wanted Cadbury colors? I don't know. That is totally the Cadbury purple. I know that's a trademark, but I don't care! You know, you know the burping game is our national pastime. Oh yeah, yeah, there's the burping game. There's a nice crop circle here. The burping game is where you get your crystals. I love to drink ginger soda and burp. I'm a champion. Let's see if you can burp longer than me. You can jump as many times as you can, drink soda, then burp. Get ready, go. <laughs> you just got beat him. You're the best tiger these prizes. <laughs> so we got the drunk gobbo here. Anyway, so yeah, this world is a lot different, mainly because you see that's probably a boss door up there. And then you go over here, there's one stage. You may be going, oh, the other stage is like behind it? No, nope, that's a dead end. There's another stage, so there's two stages. But what are, where are all the other stages? This is where the strange part is. This world is kind of like a half world, except then it's kind of a trial. And I should probably be timing this as well. Dang it, I keep forgetting to time these parts. Oh well. Um, uh, but yeah, it's kind of like a trial. It's a half world, and then you've got the build up to the end of the game. And you, you can take either of these stages on in any direction you want. I'm going to start off with this one, uh, just because it's probably the nicest. nicest. Don't take it easy if you can have the Gobbo babies, find them and pull them back in the playpens, but be sure they don't cry. Holy crap, your baby is as still as ever. It's a miracle. Your baby even rotates with you. Genius. Um, anyway, so I've kind of been thinking of a few things, so, but anyway, the, first of all, this stage. Uh, this stage is a bit of a maze, kind of. You're gonna be collecting the babies like before, but you're gonna have to carry each one individually to these playpens. And you may be going, are you kidding me? I like how they're juggling it. And then they're like, oh no! And then the baby's crying and all. I like this stage actually a lot. Except it's a bit annoying to navigate. Anyway, so yeah, if you've got tons of items, don't worry about... Ooh, gosh. If you've got tons of items, don't worry about restocking them, because the next two stages, this stage and the next stage... Oh, oh crap. This stage and the next stage, they're the last of any stages that you need items for in the entire game. And considering that we'll probably have a good four or five more parts after this, that's kind of strange. How you only need the items about two thirds of the way into the game. Now, by the way, there's probably more pens elsewhere on the stage. Anyway, so yeah, um, I want to do a bit of a, a bit of a general statement right now, just about my let's playing. I've I've kind of gotten a bit ugh, recently. I I sat down, try. Oh gosh, she's in the freaking pot. Uh, I kind of got, um, a little bit disappointed, um, oh jeez, not that about. I got a bit disappointed, I sat down to record some Mario Galaxy, and I just felt so kind of down about it, I just, what that's about, um, I just felt like, oh gosh, do I, I have to do this again, it may have just been because I was thinking about just some really bad memories from earlier in my life, I'm being so deep. Nah, well, I was I was a real bad bad kid back in the day, and just remembering it, I was kind of makes me cringe a bit. And um, it may have been because of that, but I was kind of thinking, you know what, you know what, we I've gone to this stage where I'm playing these games, but I've kind of running out of ideas. Should I keep it still kind of kid friendly? So to speak. Like, I say crap a lot, but I don't really say all the swear words. Uh, kids are okay with crap. You say crap as many times as you want, it's still gonna be PG, you know? Um... Now 
Why am I doing this kid friendly? I have no clue. That was the thing. I was like, who is my target demographic? Well, I can't tell if anyone is under 13 because freaking YouTube, you can't make an account under 13. YouTube should, should totally have child accounts, man, I just say. I mean, I mean, like, have it so that. So that it, it actually looks down swear words. It actually. Sense of swear words, you can still comment and write and stuff. You can't upload videos, maybe, without parent permission. Uh, um, but yeah, so I'll, I'm kind of thinking, you know what? I might I might do a, a few more kind of violent games. Um, holy crap, how did this baby get up there? And I just remembered I forgot the oh, okay, I get that key. I just remembered I forgot the baby. There's a lot of stuff in this stage, I know. Uh, I, I just forgot the baby back at the beginning. Oh, gosh! Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, I have, I do find a lot of shooters kind of enjoyable, or a few shooters. Um, some of them, like Borderlands and stuff, they're... Oh, crap, I dropped the baby on the ground. Some of them, like Borderlands, and by the... Yeah, start clipping and stuff. Yeah, some of them like Borderlands, they're just boring to watch and stuff. Um, but for others, like Half-Life perhaps? Half-Life is a pretty good one that I feel, I feel pretty into LPing. I w I'm really thinking of doing that, but I don't, I don't know. And the other thing is I also, I want to try and do something a lot different. I've been sticking to pretty much the same formula for the past four and a bit years, and did I, I swear there were two of them in here, or did I get, wow, I am not paying attention, um, but yeah, like, I've been doing pretty much the same thing for about four, four years, and I want to try and do something different, I, I, I really would like to try something, that, oh my gosh, look at that, they're having, like, so much fun, he's like a woo. Anyway, you can, I can stop, and the baby's over. Ah, thank goodness. I think, yeah, there's a pen over there. Why did I go back to that first one? I have no clue. Um, anyway, yeah, so, yeah, I want you guys to suggest things, like, what I should do, because I'm, I really would like to do other things. I do like Let's Playing because, you know, one, I can just sit down, commentate, commentate as I play a game. That's all good. But just, um, on things like, uh, like, uh, I would really like a bigger audience, and I think that, I think that probably I'm just not doing things the right way. Like, I'd really like to do more more something different, something to catch your attention, because right now, let's play, people do that already, and what am I offering? Just a slightly different perspective. Get that guy off. Blah! Anyway, um, back to the game, yeah, so, oh, a side note, you know how I kept getting all that lag, and I finally kind of got rid of it, although it's still a little bit bad, but it's not, like, awful bad? That's because I found out this... I swear that was the game lagging. Well, I found out this thing, yeah. It's totally the game, actually. Oh, slide! <laughs> it's actually the game lagging, really, because when I look at this, it's, it's not fraps. Now, I found out what the problem was. It was fraps, because one, when I stopped recording with fraps, it would stop lagging and all. Because you know how I always like all that lag, especially like. Two fail, two or well, two failures, but two times where I've been mid-recording and it just suddenly started lagging. In fact, three times. One when I was going into that stage with the frozen robos. One with that stage. Um, one just after I finished the cart riding, and another one just before the dinosaur robot boss. All of those just fraps decided to start freaking out, and I found out that the reason was. That um, Fraps doesn't like. Uh, Fraps doesn't like uh, recording to the same 
drive that your game is on. So for Crop 2, I had it on the C drive, and I always record to my C drive as well. But, yeah, it didn't work out. Uh, as for pretty much a lot of the other things, like emulations and stuff, and by the way, Croc on PSX, this was a good example of it, but it wasn't as example, as exemplary as this. Um, but basically, whenever I was reading and writing to the same to the same drive, suddenly Fraps would kind of freak out, and I'm actually going to throw all these babies off. I know they're going to start crying, but I don't care. See, look, I just expected to do this jump all the time. Um... But yeah, so basically I just I just moved some space on my external hard drive, change fraps up so they were right there, and voila, it's now recording without freaking out. And I was kind of unsure if this would work, because I was like, you know what, it's it's never happened to me before. And I thought about it a bit, and I was like, you it hasn't happened because I haven't really done something like this. I've never really played a game properly on PC. Sonic Adventure DX, by the way, my Steam folder is actually on my external hard drive. So for the most part, whenever I recorded recorded games from my external hard drive, which is basically all the modern games I play, this is pretty much the only game I play that is on my C drive. Um, all those work fine because I'm writing to my C drive and I'm playing off my F drive. Um, but, uh, other things I should know is that, um, ROMs and stuff, they're already built, they're pre-loaded pretty much. When you load a ROM on an emulator, for the most part, it loads the entire ROM straight off. That's how cartridges work, mostly. They can read the, the right amount of data at the time. And for a computer, the computer just loads the entire ROM and just says, yeah, that's how we do it. Now, I will... So, I had never ever actually come across an experience like this. You know, 35 Let's Plays In. Crap, I dropped the bait. Uh, 35 Let's Plays In and I'm like... You know, suddenly finding out that Fraps doesn't like recording to the same drive that you've got the game on. It's weird. It's never happened to me and I don't know... I, it's, it's a strange feeling, really. I, how do I miss that? Oh, do the babies go back when they... Oh, the babies go back. Let's go out of room. And I just... Why did I go all the way back? There's a freaking thing over right there. Oh, gosh. Um... Holy crap, this this level is going to take me, like, all parts, literally. It is a long stage. Come on. In fact, they do this, like... I think the secret, the uh, Golden Gobbo stage is like this as well, it's just a huge maze. It's, it's not that huge, but it just involves a concept that you keep going back for. Um... Ow. Um... Yeah, now, I just want to note, the Croc LP that I did, I used the, I, the PSX emulator. So that kind of worked, except there were times where it started lagging, and I've kind of come to expect that now, because an ISO, it's not like a ROM, it doesn't load it all at once. Uh, so... So that's why the Croc LP, I had times when it would not work, but for the most part, it was a PlayStation 1, so it wouldn't load very quickly, and it didn't lag too much, especially when you really needed to... Refresh recording, perhaps that, that that was the other suggestion that they that they made on the pages. Is there a baby up there? Oh, there isn't. Uh, that was the other suggestion they said is that if the recording is too long, then just um cut it. And since I'm recording on an external hard drive, and I pretty much need that. Throw the baby inside the bin. Did the babies give two crystals? Or did they give one? It would make sense if they gave two. Because, jeez, I'm not getting that. I, stop bouncing off the frickin' pen! No clue. Ah, <laughs> oh, snap, we gotta do this. Anyway, so... I haven't really been talking about the game that much, but... I just wanted to bring this up, because... It, it was a big issue on me, and... 
kind of reaching crisis point, you know. Holy crap, how do you get all the way over there? Or is it because I was... Wait, wait, I got it, got it, totally got it. Boom. <laughs> I haven't been paying much attention, I've just been kind of passively playing this. And, yeah... Gosh, I am so tired, but I, I would like to get this game finished because then I can get a nice bed. I can get away from all the random stuff because direct running a PC game from 12 years ago or even 13 maybe. Directly running that on a computer is kind of a bit of a scary thing and your computer's kind of going to... Hopefully the software knows how to use my newer technology. That's a problem with PCs. We're doing a pretty good job nowadays. Especially thank you Steam for making things compatible. Like we've got DOS. Okay. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> um... Like, we've got DOS okay for emulation, in fact, we've got pretty much most emulators okay. I haven't tried any PlayStation 2 or GameCube emulators, mainly because I haven't really had the need to, but... Because I've tried out PlayStation 1 and that works really good, and I was like, ooh. Uh, N64 kind of works variably, because the thing was all quite different at first anyway. Because if it's sprites, you can render it okay, but if it's polygons, then it requires a lot of different thinking, you know? Ah! There's a couple guys over here, yeah. See, now the big problem is that this is a big maze stage. And, oh, goodness, I come up there. Hey. Holy crap! That was so difficult! I'm sorry, what the heck happened to the difficulty of those? <laughs> I don't know. Um, thank you, Stage, for literally taking like 20 minutes now. Well, I know it's 15 right now, but it's going to take 20. It's going to take 20. Jeez, remember that stage where you had to rescue 50 gobos? That was kind of a big stage, but... It's not like this, where you have to drag 30 of them over to specified points. Jeez, I never realized. I knew there was a stage like this, I just couldn't... I just didn't remember how monotonous it kind of was. Jeez. Will I think of the game differently? No, because it's still good. Oh yeah. Don't think you can pick up babies after you. Will I be getting 100 crystals? No. <laughs> Seriously, if I'm missing four of the babies and either I'm looking and I am missing one of the locations. Puzzle! Either I'm missing one of the locations or I'm just not very good at this. I know that was a cage somewhere. Cage should be okay. Cage Johnson. That being said though, I'm still missing three of them. Oh, because there's this freaking side alley. Or did I go in here already? Oh, I did go in the side alley. Yeah. See, that's the thing, I put four on that thing over there, and then you have to keep going back for them, you know? I mean, granted, they do it once, so. Maybe they were just running out of ideas. Like they had the weird principle where we have to do. Ah, oh, there you go. This that section. Just this whole bit. Maybe they had the design principle where they had to make something different for every stage. And totally got to jump up there. Yeah. And they were just running out of ideas. Cause I think the next stage is pretty, pretty fun. In fact, it's one of the most fun stages in the game. It's, it's challenging, in fact, the next, the ending sections, which I have to edit in the names, because that's what I've been doing this whole time. On the PlayStation version, 
On the loading screens, it comes up with the names of the stages. On the PC version, it doesn't. Other than that, and the shameless advertising, the games are pretty much exactly the same. Pretty much. The, the, oh, and the jellies. The jellies are different. I was looking this up, and apparently there was, like, yellow jelly, and I'm like, yellow? Which one's that one? And apparently that's the blue jelly. Whoa. Can I hit the ceiling? Nope, because there is no ceiling. Just keep going up. I'm still missing one, that's the thing. Yeah, by this stage, I have no clue where that last gobbo is. It's gobbo, right? It's kind of weird, they're baby gobbos. Oh, there's one of those. Jeez, how did I miss that? Alright, well, I'm sorry I dragged this part on, but... It's basically the explaining part. It's the explaining part. And I only get 72. Well, considering I'm not going to use my crystals on anything else in this LP, I may as well not mind. Thank you, Croc. You saved them. I lost my British accent and I turned it into a something, something more Eastern. I don't know. Uh, anyway, in the next part, we'll do the next stage and then we'll see what happens once you beat both stages. Dun dun dun.